Here's the thing. Having a family milk cow is a lot of hard work, whether you're hand milking or machine milking. But there is pros and cons to each, and one might be a better fit for you than the other. I've been doing both, so if you've been wondering which one is right for you, you've come to the right place. For those of you who don't know, my name is Cody, and I'm passionate not just about homesteading, but homesteading as efficiently as possible, so I've got more time to spend with my family and to spend doing other things that I really love. because we're more than farmers. For a long time, I was resistant to using a machine milker. And now that I've been doing both, some of those reasons are still valid. So in comparing the two, let's look at efficiency, experience, ease, cost, and cleanliness. Because those are all very important factors. Maddie, get out of there. Yeah, go. Starting off with the efficiency of one versus the other, it's gonna come down to like, how fast is it? How long does it take to hand milk? And how long does it take to machine milk? Honestly, a lot of it's just gonna depend on how much milk your cow is giving because when my cow is giving five gallons of milk, a milking machine, definitely going to be faster. So I recently did a video where I timed how long it took me to do all of my chores in the morning. Hey Izzy, start your stopwatch. Go. Yeah. And that was with using a milker. It took me 27 minutes to milk the cow, start to finish, and feed my chickens, which is really good. And I haven't done an actual timing of hand milking, but from what I can tell from me getting to work on time or not in the mornings, it's about the same right now, but my cow is only giving a gallon and a half of milk. And that's why I switched back to hand milking right now is because she's giving so little, I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Because with machine milking, there's a lot of extra cleaning. There's a lot of extra parts and pieces and things you gotta put together and take apart. With hand milking, it's just a bucket or two buckets in my case, and I'll show you that in a second. So does hand milking or machine milking win for efficiency? I'm gonna say it just depends right now. For me, hand milking is more efficient. I hate cleaning the milker, and hand milking a gallon and a half of milk is not that hard. Next up is experience. One of the things that I love about having a family milk cow is just the experience of it. When I'm the only one out here, it's really quiet. It's just me and the cow, she's up there eating. I'm back here milking away, I've got time to think. You're up here close to the warm cow, some people think that's gross. <laughs> but it is just a really good, I don't know if it's like a nostalgic feeling or whatever it is. For thousands of years before us, people have doing, been doing it like this. I do love having a machine milker and it's still a really good experience, but it's just not the same. I forget to put the hobbles on her. I'm gonna put those on in case she moves her feet. So I've been machine milking for the last quite a while, but since I switched to hand milking, she's just been moving her feet around a little bit and I don't want her getting in the bucket. She's not kicking, but she's been moving around, so I've been using these just to keep her from hitting the bucket with her feet. Maddie, you want some alfalfa? And so if we're looking at comparing the two for experience, hands down, hand milking is the better experience. I also wanna talk about the ease of doing it. It is easier on your hands, obviously, to be using a machine milker, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the easiest thing to do. I had somebody doing my chores for me one time and they forgot to put the one little piece and the pulsator in the top and they didn't realize it for quite a while and it was a disaster. With hand milking, you bring a bucket out here and you squeeze the milk out. It is very easy in that sense. On the other hand, <laughs> it is hard work to hand milk a cow, especially when she's given more than a couple gallons. Starting out, my first cow gave five gallons and that made for some really, really sore hands. I'm definitely gonna say when it comes to one versus the other for ease, that if your cow is giving a lot of milk, a milker is definitely easier. Just a side note, while I'm milking, instead of milking everything into one bucket right away, I'm gonna bring it over here and dump it through this cloth right here into another bucket. Even if she would kick one bucket of milk, I'd still have some milk in another one that I haven't lost everything. During the summer especially, having a cloth over top of the one bucket to pour into keeps the flies out. And I've also got an ice water bottle in here that this milk is then cooling right away. And that is a real key to keeping your milk as fresh as possible. When my cow is giving a lot of milk, I've got a five gallon stainless steel bucket that I use. But for now, since she's not giving as much, this one's a 13 quart and I'm milking into a nine quart. They are seamless, meaning they don't have any rolled edges. They don't have the handles attached on the side. It's all one piece with the handles going through the holes there. 
This one's super solid. I just got this one from Shenandoah Homestead Supply. I told my friend Josh, who owns the place, what I was doing, and he sent me this bucket, and this is a nice, sturdy, solid bucket that I really like. It's not hard to guess which one's gonna win on cost. For a good milking machine, you're looking at around $1,000, give or take. For a milk bucket, for even the very best one you can find, you're looking at around $100. And if you want a two bucket set up like this, which I would really, really recommend, then you're looking at, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Also with a milking machine, you're gonna have parts that you're gonna need to replace. You're gonna have to have the electricity or the fuel to run it. And eventually, you're probably gonna have to replace the entire thing. These stainless steel buckets right here will last several lifetimes, I'm sure. You're not gonna need to replace those anytime soon. Good girl, Maddie. Obviously, the cost of a bucket is not gonna be your only cost for milking a cow. There's other costs, like something to strain the milk, the hobbles that I had there, the milking stool, that's gonna go along with hand milking. But most of the things that you're gonna buy, you're gonna buy with a milking machine or for hand milking. So before I get to my conclusion and what I would recommend for you to get, let's talk about cleanliness. A lot of people are gonna say that hand milking is not as clean as machine milking. And that is true in one way, but I disagree in another way. With this belly milker right here, you've got these lines that the milk is gonna go through and all these little cracks and crevices where something can get in, if it doesn't get cleaned out properly, bacteria is gonna grow and that's gonna get in your milk. And with using two buckets like this, this is a really, really clean way to milk a cow. And I've also got this ice bottle in here that's cooling the milk right away. And that is like one of the biggest things, aside from obviously keeping nasty stuff out, getting it cool as fast as possible. Once it get down to 50 degrees, that's when the bacteria really slows down from growing. It's actually gonna go into the freezer for about an hour to cool even faster again. This strainer right here is something that we've changed within just the last, what, couple years or so. And it is absolutely amazing. You can find this one on Shenandoah Homestead Supply also. The sign of milk that's not good and clean is that it's not gonna stay good very long. Our milk, can stay good for as long as three weeks. Michelle was back in the kitchen and she heard me say this and she made sure to correct me right here. It's not just a normal thing for the milk that we're using, we're opening and closing and stuff to last for three weeks, but I have tested it out before and I put a gallon of milk in the back of the refrigerator, waited three weeks, opened it up, and it was still good. It wasn't tasting off. But normally for our milk, 10 days to two weeks, it's definitely starting to taste a little bit, but that's still really good and fresh. I've had milk from other places before that was starting to taste off after two days. I'm gonna say a milker is gonna be cleaner just because it keeps the stuff out of it but not cleaner in the sense that I'm any more worried about drinking the milk from something that was hand milked, as long as the person who's doing the hand milking is taking good care of their cow and has a good process in place. Yeah. Coffee? Yeah. Do you want some? Yeah. So what would I recommend for you? Honestly, I don't regret doing either one, and I'm really glad that I'm able to do both. For somebody starting out, maybe you should start with hand milking, so you get to know your cow better, and so you get a real good feel for things. On the other hand, if you've got a real high producing cow, it can be a really big deal, and it can be really discouraging if your cow is giving like five gallons and you've got to hand milk that out and you don't know what you're doing yet. So maybe you should start out with a milker. I think it's just gonna be personal preference, what you feel like is gonna work best for you, but Hey, I would really recommend hand milking. I love to have fresh squeezed milk. Whoop. There you go. I go a lot more in depth in some other videos on how to milk your cow. I go a lot more in depth on how to milk a cow in some of my other videos, and I put together a playlist of those that you can click on right here and watch those next. It's decaf. All done. If you're looking for a bucket for hand milking, I would really recommend Shenandoah Homestead Supply. I've actually got a discount code you can use. I'll put it in the description. They also have machine milkers, so if you're looking for one of those, check those out also.